Hey everybody, this is Devendra Hardware here from VentureBeat, and I'm looking at the mother gadget from Sense. I'm with the creator here. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Rafi. Hi. And so, uh, can you tell me a bit about the mother and uh, what it actually does? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, the, the, the idea behind the mother mm -hmm. was that, uh, okay, you know, everybody knows that we can connect all sorts of devices to the, to the internet. Right. Uh, and everybody's talking about the internet of things. But uh, what got us started was, okay, but how does that start? Or right. Do you, do, or, or, and how does uh, this scale? Do we imagine that people are going to have a couple more, more gadgets at home? Mm -hmm. But if so, this, is, this cannot be the Internet of Things. It's, if it's only about just a couple of gadgets, mm -hmm. it makes sense to talk about the Internet of Things if people end up having 50 or 100 devices in their home, gotcha. like they would have 50 or 100 websites or mobile apps they're using. This is what makes a real revolution. This is what makes the Internet of Things a, a real game changer. Gotcha. Can you explain to me like how Mother works? Because I was a little confused just uh, seeing uh, the initial pitch. Uh, so sure. Mother is uh, mm -hmm. just a, a base station that sure. connects sensors. And the base station is that this thing is there. Mother. Yep. Mm -hmm. And these are and, the sensors. And these are the first set of sensors okay. we're making called the motion cookies. So they, they are they are um, motion detectors. Okay. You can attach to everyday objects to make them uh, smart and connect. Interesting. So, so, what sort of things do they track? Uh, so, they track everything based on movement, but there are lots of things you can do with movement. Like, okay. uh, you can detect if a door is open, you can detect how many steps you're doing every day, you can say if someone is going to bed and going out of bed, mm -hmm. you can say if someone is brushing his teeth, taking his medicine, right. uh, w uh, drinking water. Uh, there are lots of things that are activity based and all, most activities are related to uh, a certain type of movement. Mm -hmm. So we have analyzed the specific signature of, uh, of every movement of daily life and we detect that. So we, do not, gotcha. we don't just detect that you have moved your pillbox, but we know that you have moved your pillbox in order to take your pills. So you took your pillbox, gotcha. opened it, took your medicine, uh, closed the box and put it back on place and not just move it on the, counter, the kitchen counter. Gotcha. And I know you uh, you had created one of the first really interesting uh, Internet of Things devices, the Nebastag Rabbit. How is this sort of like the evolution of that, what you were trying to accomplish there? Uh, ten years ago the idea was you need to connect everything. This was the right. philosophy behind Violet and we needed to, to, to make some sort of uh, uh, visual uh, statement and Navastag was uh, Navastag statement was if you can even connect rabbits then you can connect everything <laughs> okay yeah. uh, and now the, the idea with the mother is more uh, that okay uh, you can connect things but we are more looking for to make things smart and mm -hmm. not just and we, we think that just connecting is not enough to make things smart mm -hmm. If you are due to have 50 devices in your environment, mm -hmm. they cannot afford not being smart. Not because smart is a, is a buzzword and a cool buzzword, right. but because it will create so much noise that you cannot live with, uh, with a door that sends you a notification every time it opens. But you need a learning door, a door that can learn from the behavior of the house mm -hmm. and you can tell well, the door didn't open today at the time it usually does. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, or the door open when it, do, it usually doesn't uh, open. So you need devices that can uh, start by gathering data, learning about you, mm -hmm. uh, self-configure, uh, self-adapt. So you need no programming because you, cannot, you will not be able to program 50 devices to say, well, from 12 p.m. to 2 right. p.m., this is what you're going to do. And, uh, so lots of things that work in, a, in an environment where uh, devices and sensors and uh, are scarce don't work in, a, in an environment where you have gotcha. 50 devices. You cannot charge 50 batteries every couple of weeks. You cannot push the button of 50 devices to, to have them synchronized with, uh, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, the cloud. You cannot uh, learn to use 50 devices, so you have uh, like 50 ways uh, to interact with devices. Some of them you move by doing uh, right. special gestures or uh, special instructions. All of these work when you have a computer and at the time where you only had a computer and a, and a, 
and uh, Fitbit there are, you could adapt to the routines these devices uh, force you to do. Mm -hmm. uh, if you had 50 devices, yeah. uh, you cannot do that. And you end up having devices that need to adapt to you, to learn from you, you need devices that uh, blend in your life. I mean, mm -hmm. you just live your life, brush your teeth like you always did mm -hmm. uh, with your toothbrush, uh, go to bed wearing your pajamas without having to push a special button to right. tell, now I'm going to bed or wear a special device or do something. You're just going to do it, go very transparently in, uh, and in a very mundane way. Uh, way uh, to, you're going to, to, to live your life and there will be sensors to just translate them. Interesting. But this is the only way that the, the Internet of Things can, could, uh, could scale. Otherwise, you will be living like a flying a, a jumbo jet. Right. Right, and we're all configuring dials and buttons and everything. Yes, and it's not way to live. everything is okay. Yeah, and, and pushing remote controls to say I want this and I want that. And yeah, you, you don't have time for that. I mean, it doesn't. It's, and the, the gotcha. bottleneck today is the, the end user. It's not technology. Mm -hmm. It's not connectedness. Uh, like things like Bluetooth, low energy, are maybe cool, but they yeah. they are they don't solve the issue of the user. Uh, they force you to, to charge your battery every couple of days. Yeah. They force you to synchronize from time to time. They are not meant, made to blend in your life. Mm -hmm. They don't adapt to you. You are meant to adapt to the protocol, not the protocol to you. Interesting. Okay. What's the pricing availability for Mother? So the, the, the current price is $222. This mm -hmm. is what you are applying for, uh, for pre-orders on the okay. website. Uh, at the time it will be available on retail, it will be probably much higher. Okay. Uh, and it will be available sometime in spring 2014. Awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you.